Okay, so we're going to test this out on my 2004 BMW X5. But first we're going to do an unboxing and let's check out the manufacturer website. It's the audiofix.com website talking about the OM121 product, reading the OBD2 reader. All right, and it's true what it says. The uh, product's uh, easy to use. You just plug it in. No batteries required and it'll easily read uh, what the check engine light is throwing and let you know what the actual error is. And what you'll see here coming up is where I actually do a test of it. I'm showing you the packaging so you can see the, both the front and back. Feel free to pause that and review any particulars that you need to see. All right, so now I'm gonna open it up, let you know what the, the actual product uh, looks like closer up. You have three rubberized buttons, very easy to push and manipulate to get through the various menus and settings. There's the plug that goes into the OBD2 port in your car. It has a very easy to read screen where you can also adjust the contrast. Fairly thin and compact and it feels very stable. And there's the, you've got about uh, a little over two feet on the cable. All right, now it actually comes with um, a it's got a warranty card here. I'll show you briefly. And then let's get into the manual. It's actually, um, considering nowadays everything's online, it's a very thorough uh, manual that it comes with, showing you where typically your port is found. Uh, and then what I've done here is I'll thumb through everything. Again, you can pause at any point, read uh, more specifics on it. And then it actually even shows you some of the, uh, actually quite a bit of the codes that are um, the more standard codes that you'll see. The, any, anything that's generic typically uh, is listed in here. Overall, you have a 70 page manual. All right, and here's where you start to see the generic codes. I'm not gonna go through all of them, you get the idea. Uh, but again, very impressive uh, with what they provide you with. Okay, so we're gonna test this out on my 2004 BMW x5 okay to get an error fault what i did is i temporarily disconnected the um, mass airflow sensor because that was the easiest thing for me to do so you have to go to the uh, obd port which on my bmw is right here just kind of pull that down it's kind of stays like that Very thick cable, very well made. Let's see what we got here. So just plug it right in. There we go. But you definitely want full power to the engine and all the components. So you're gonna hear that. All right, so we have full power. I started it up briefly just till it threw the air. From here, once it's on, you have four different menu options. There's read codes, erase codes, I am readiness, the different type of uh, monitors on this car, the BMW X5 2004 catalyst monitor. These are the different systems, so it's pretty in depth. All things considered. That's it. It just goes through a loop, basically. Okay, we're going to do read codes. You can see it right there. So it's actually um, got a code on there right now. Let's scroll through. There should just be that one. Yeah, there's just one code. So now let's go to erase code. Yes. Done. Cleared the code. Now I still have the mass airflow sensor unplugged, so let me go plug that back in. All right. So read codes, erase codes, already erased. I plugged the air sensor back in. I haven't restarted the car yet, but let's go ahead and just read codes. 
No code. So it was able to clear the code. Now what I'm going to do is going to start up the car. Let's see what we got here. So the mass airflow sensor is plugged back in. No, no codes in there. So it definitely cleared it. And now we're going to go to the vehicle info and press and press enter. Okay, there's three different, there are three different settings, calibration ID, verification number, and protocol. So let's press enter for that one. Okay, there are two IDs. I'm gonna click back, scroll down, and here's the second one. Scroll, there's two of those, back, Go down to the third one, the protocol, and there's the protocol. So that's it. The Autofix OBD reader. It was able to read the code, clear the code, and it did it exactly. I mean, it's very portable. It's not super thick, but it's got a very high quality cable. So yeah, definitely give it a strong thumbs up. Works perfectly.